Ah, uh, yeah, March, the month of Irish whiskey. Greetings, my name is Brian. Welcome to Kilka Whiskey Musings. Yeah, it's March. That means Irish whiskey all month. And starting with Bushmills 10. I bought this bottle last year in anticipation of having to do it then, but I'm doing it this year. I don't remember if I've had a 10-year-old Irish whiskey before. I've had a 9, which is the gold spot, and a favorite of mine, of course, is Redbreast 12. But specifically, 10 years feels a bit odd, but I'm okay with it. And as you see here, this approachable and elegant whiskey is aged in bourbon and sherry casks. It also has some tasting notes, but I'm going to ignore those for the moment. And this time, we'll be using a tour glass. I only use these in March. Wow. It's a little different in this glass trying to hold it, but we begin with the color. Look how pale this is. I like to think of this as sunlight. It's a very pale straw yellow, but if you shine it up to the light just right, you can see it as just sunshine. Like during the day, that's the kind of light that's around. I think of it like that. Onto the nose. Oh my goodness. It is malt. I got that malt. I keep calling it a funk because I have no other real easy way to describe it, but the initial hit was very sweet, very vanilla. Oh, you can actually tell there's sherry in there. There's this very faint berries. Raspberries is usually what I equate it to. Oh, wow, that's really nice. What's occurring to me as I'm doing this is I uh, had a time during 2020 when one thing I did do was I bought a whole 1.75 of Bushmills Red. So I think it's called Red Bush. I'm not even sure if they still make it, but I can tell this is Bushmills on the nose. Like this is familiar. This is disturbingly familiar to me. Very sweet, very friendly, and very approachable. And I didn't say it earlier, but this is as many Irish whiskeys tend to be. 40% ABV. It's giving off a wonderful berries and cream vibe, which is something I enjoy finding from Irish whiskey. I'm worried that this seems a bit grainy to me, which seems impossible, but I'm picking up a slight tinny note, like tin foil. I've also used the reference of like a dime or a penny, so it's slightly metallic. And I've gotten that same thing off what I typically find to be cheaper Irish whiskeys. I wouldn't think a 10 year would be, this is also Bushmills, which is generally speaking, its core lineup tends to be um, on the lower price range, which is good because it makes it popular. Still not as popular as Jameson, though. Not through the palate. Oh, the fruit notes came out. What I expected on the first sip. It's a nice vanilla. Oh, that's an odd finish. The nose and the palate are lining up where I'm getting a berries and cream note on the palate. And I did on the nose. It is fairly simple. I mean, as far as Irish whiskey goes, it's got what you'd expect. Vanilla, cream, a little berries. Those are ideal for certain Irish whiskeys. Single malt, I don't feel like come across very often, though. A little biscuity, more scone, actually. And then there's this little touch of spice. Lingers in the middle of my palate. Slightly dry. And then I'm getting a uh, thought of white racer. Knowing the price range of Bushmills, I know this wasn't more expensive. That was one thing I do recall doing last year when I bought it, is I was browsing the Irish whiskey section and I saw the 10-year for about $40. Now, a regular bottle of Bushmills you can get for $25 or $30 bucks easily. So the price difference is questionable. However, if you are just starting into whiskey and you've had Bushmills and you want to get that sweet, sweet age statement to share with your friends... I would recommend going this route because a lot of other Irish whiskeys can be expensive. My absolute favorite, Redbreast 12, right now is $65. Two more years, $40, $65. I think this is a perfectly reasonable substitute if you are early on your whiskey journey. So with that in mind, and if that is what you're going for, just like the next step up, this is absolutely something to go for. 40 bucks, 10 year old Irish whiskey, that is a steal. I'd like to do a comparison of this from I would like to do a comparison of this at some point because I'm going to have a number of Bushmills on my shelf because of this month to see which one stands out the most. Well, there you have it, folks. As always, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome, and I will see you out there. Hey, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.